I hate this show. Sister Wife, season 16, episode, I believe it's 6, but it's No Head Wife. Uh, so before we get into the exact episode, I'm going to do a couple things. First of all, I knew this was a spicy episode. I saw on... It's really not. It's just boring. Well, they didn't get into the part. I wanted to know everything about the nanny. And they were like, oh, we have a nanny. And everyone's just kind of like, shh, don't mention it too much. You know, all of that. Anyway. That's why they have a nanny. Um, what I wanted to mention was some stuff that came up with the comments. First off, some people rudely and some people nicely have said that John needs to speak more. John speaks the exact amount he wants to. A little more than I want to, actually. <laughs> so I don't, so don't want to do this. So don't you worry. I know you want to hear more from him. I'd love to hear more from him. But he's a man of few words. Um, I told him he needs to talk more and he said, what did you say? Over your dead body? Something like that? Okay. Anyway. Um, I, okay, so I wanted to say another thing for the comments. So, so most of most of the commenters are like way ahead of I am in terms of stuff, but a few of them were confused on like why they aren't they talking about vaccines or anything. The episode is basically fourteen months behind. So this is only, and this that, that should be obvious, but I get not everybody's watching this with a notebook, taking notes in order to do a recap. So just a reminder, this is. Before they had the vaccine, before we even really, I think at this point they start, still weren't even sure when the vaccine was coming. It was that whole like, we think it might be March, maybe November, maybe January. Anyway, um, and uh, everyone in the comments kind of agree that Cody just is done with these other wives. He wants to ditch them. She just wants Robin in the main. <clears throat> yeah, and I want to bring us back for a moment to season one, Robin. So people can remember this and can remember some stuff like, um, like that he went with her to go pick out her dress. And I think a ring too, I can't remember, but the other wives were really disappointed because that wasn't something that he'd done with them. And they felt it was something that the sister wives were supposed to do. He also uh, kissed her before they got married, which is, I believe the rest of them were married, were kissed when they got married. But I'll just say from the very beginning, the rules have been different with Robin. And I haven't ever been a real... Robin rules the roost. I have not, I have, I've never really been like super pro Robin, but I've always tried to be very objective with Robin. And so when I heard she had a nanny, a couple, I turned up on Twitter, someone just saying that this episode would be about the nanny. I, my, first of all, my first thought was, oh, people are going to hate this, which I was correct on. But I also was like, I'm going to try to be objective. Maybe this is a single female relative who, who came and lived for them and does nanny work in exchange for having a place to live and a place to quarantine. I know people or know of people that when kind of COVID started, people changed what their living situations because they were like, oh, if I'm not going to be able to go out, I'm going to be doing a long-term like moved home with their parents. A lot of people moved home with their parents. A lot of people left New York, stuff like that. So I was like, I'm going to give the best of intentions. And that's why I'm so frustrated with this episode. They gave almost no information. Almost everything I know about the nanny, I learned from people commenting, saying this is the same nanny that they used to have in Vegas. And apparently she's married with kids, or kid at least, and moved to Flagstaff to follow them to be their nanny. And like, it's just that... Are they living on this money? How come How come Christine had to do a GoFundMe for Isabel's surgery, but they have money for a nanny? Yeah, apparently. She said that about um, insurance, but people have commented that, that they saw her GoFundMe to help pay for the surgery, like 25000 I don't know if that money came through. Ooh, my jeans just ripped. She's done their last life. Um, I don't know if... Um, if that was, I don't know what that was for. And I don't know if it went through. I don't know anything about that. I only hear what the comments say. But, you know, it is concerning when a child has a medical need. And, like, they have money for a nanny. And they're always talking oh, about money. Oh, it was money. just a vacation. Well, then also, like, what is a nanny, to quote Christine, who was actually talking about something a little different. But what does a nanny do? Robin and um, Cody have been there the whole time. And that's the other thing I want to mention. So I'm not I'm not going to go crazy about these rules. Um... I feel like... The farce that they are. Well, and most of them aren't that crazy, but but the, most of them are talking about is the inconsistencies in this se season. So when we started it, Cody said, I've been going from house to house, not Mary, I've been going from house to house, and I'm the only one who's traveling, and we, and lots of commenters were like, it doesn't make any sense from a CDC standpoint. Well, now he's saying... I, We've had these rules for seven months, and this is why I can go to Robin's house and no one else's. 
And I'm going, but I, he hasn't given these rules out. Like, that's the kind of stuff I want to talk about, is that I don't really believe this had anything to do with COVID rules. I think this has to do with his frustrations that his wife's won't just do what he wants. What Robin wants, I think you mean. Well, I am not 100% sure where I lie on these rules. Are they all Robin's? Are they Robin's and Cody's? I mean, he might have is, started with the list, but then she's like, no, 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 we're doing this. We're, we're right. not doing well, that. Well, and then also, I want to know about this. So Cody's been quoting this doctor, and the, the, according to him, a doctor is saying stuff that the CDC <laughs> never <laughs> said. <laughs> well, and then also, I wonder how that conversation went. Like, when he said, did he's, the doctor say... There's wait, no doctor. He's just making stuff up. Well, just for argument's sake what if he went to the doctor and he said well, what if i wipe down the alcohol all of our groceries with with alcohol i can see his doctor saying well it won't hurt anything well what if we change our clothes when we get back well it won't hurt anything and what's funny is i actually know people who did follow these rules and it doesn't hurt them but of course they're not trying to manage a plural family where not everyone feels that way did they also get covid like cody they did not get covid but they also one of them admits that she's a germaphobic and is trying to get treatment for OCD. So it's not exactly... But Cody got COVID. He did. Oh, and then also people are all over the place because they saw Cody and Robin at a mall. But that was like last week versus 14 months ago. So, but anyway. So... Anyway, so this this episode had way too much Robin in it for me. First of all, one of the first interviews is like, me and my kids are just tired of all the tension between the family. And I was like, I'm out. I don't even want to hear it. And it made me mad because I got mad at her kids. Like, oh, poor kids, they have the tension. But then I was like, it's not their fault. First of all, we don't know if that's true. We don't know if that's actually true. Secondly, they didn't sign up for this show. They didn't sign up for polygamy, none of that. Not So I'm like, Nikki, stop it. You don't pick on the kids in the, any of these shows, my general rule. But it was, it really... It really made me mad that she like threw her kids out like, oh, my poor suffering kids that, that because of these other wives tension it's like, you know, anyway, Christina ended up being gone for six weeks for the surgery. She and I want to say this. I don't talk about people's looks unless it's like a choice, like that hairstyle is a choice. But I wouldn't say something about someone's nose because they have no control over that. She leaves that to me. Anyway, I just want to point out how tired Christine looks in these episodes this season versus I I don't really look at social media or anything but because of something someone said I went and looked and Christine looks so much better now and I was like what I see is just constant frustration on her face exhaustion which I, is not a, a ding on how she appears just more of her state of mind Isabel is still hurting she's saying there's good days there's bad days that is not surprising we know that for anyone who's gone through a pretty major surgery you know that you have good days you have good days and then you push really hard and then you have a bad day afterwards because you've pushed too hard and now everything's swollen and hurts and all that man if I went somewhere for a surgery for my kid and then came back and had a spouse be like oh he went on vacation I would really have a hard time not smacking him he kept talking about this being a vacation and it's like yeah you know what she had to drag her daughter across the country for a she's gonna put on a, a, for a surgery face. that as far as we know she should have had four years ago that she's in just terrible pain um really tough surgery a few nurses piped up and were and you know we you know this is a tough surgery this is really tough yeah she's gonna try to make it as good as possible. She followed all the hospital rules. This is why I'm like, I don't, and this is what's frustrating me this whole season. Cody just says they don't follow the rules and then they don't really say anything counter. Because it's not about rules. It's, it's just about excuses on only seeing the wife he wants to. To Well, this is, have you ever been mad at someone? I mean, this is very, very, very unhealthy. Maybe you did this when you were young and immature, but you were mad at someone and no matter what you did, they did you found fault with. Or maybe you were the person on the other side. Someone was mad at you, and no matter what you tried to do to fix it, there was new fault. That's how I feel Cody is with all of the wives but Robin. Uh, my personal opinion is I think him and Robin came up with these rules, and I think she did a little... But like, mostly Robin. Well, I feel it's like the reverse of a gaslight. Like, a, isn't it Machiavellian where you... you... I think it's called manipulation. Right, well, where he thinks they're his rules, but it's because he's only lived with Robin and she's probably being very subtle. I brought this up last episode. I'm going to bring this up again, which is when, which is like when you see Cody away from Robin, he's not following these rules that he so-called follows. Oh, that he's was not a, following 
Robin's roles? Well... With, with him or the kids? Well, like when you saw him out with Samuel, out at the property with Janelle... Same he, ain't so. There was... He had no... He never once looked at how close Janelle was to Samuel. Janelle, like, was just right there. When he goes and sees Christine, he's within three feet. But then when Robin's around, all of a sudden, well, I'm going to wear a mask to set a good example. But you're not doing it any other time. So it's all performative. It's all... Like, it has nothing to do with I mean, with it's the not rules. like you got COVID. You're really not going to let that go, are you? Nope. But, um... Anyway, so he's talking... I feel like not a lot happened this episode. I was expecting it to Nothing be a big... Nothing ever happens in these episodes. Ever. <laughs> That's interesting. Or worth watching. I was expecting it to be like a real jam-packed episode. And it was a lot of, like... Robin crying and people watching her while she... I don't know why everyone's so mean to me. Because you're horrible and everyone hates you. <laughs> Man, don't hold back. Anyway, he's done with Christine and he's like, if you... This is what's another big weird thing. Apparently he's had this list of rules that he has not given to any wife in seven months. And Robin's like, these are the rules yeah. I've been following for seven he months. He had to hurry up and... They had to hurry up and make them up real quick to have an episode about <laughs> something. Anyway, so he's talking to Christine, and she, what he says is, well, you can follow these rules. You can stop seeing everyone else, and I'll come over. And she says, she was on fire with, like, the housewife-level comments this whole season. I, I like this Christine a lot. I don't know. I had to go back and watch the old re recaps, which I won't do, to remember how I used to feel about her. I don't think I felt necessarily that strongly either way, but she is like... Because she's like, why would I give up seeing people who love me and want to spend time with me to spend time with you? Who doesn't? Is, is basically, and then he, we remember last season he talked about like, I don't like going over Christine's house. She just nags me. And she said, well, when he comes over, all he does is sit in his phone the whole time. So yeah, I, I get it. Why would she, why would she change her whole kid's life and do all this stuff, even though she's, her and Janelle have both said, you know, we follow the rule, we mask when we go out, we use hand sanitizer, we try to stay away from people. So there's still this real big disconnect about what, like, yeah, they're not wiping down their 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 food, which I don't think that the CD, I remember that being a thing, like, in February and March of 2020, when people weren't sure even what it was, and so they weren't sure if it could be, as far as I know, maybe someone told me differently, there's never really, there's not really a risk you're going to pick it up from, like, paper. It's it's someone breathing well, I mean, if you, you take a used tissue from someone. Maybe, but it's it's airborne, and so it has to go from someone else's lungs to your lungs is, is my impression. I'm not an ep uh, epidemiologist, unlike my college roommate. Um, anyway, so... And in between all this nothingness, there there was a... Well, and she's saying how it's always been equal between the families, except Mary. They always, like, forget, oh, by the way, except Mary. It's like everybody goes, well, she's still... And somebody said in the comments that he, that his, in his religion he believes he has to have three wives in order to get to heaven, which is maybe why he's letting Mary stay on technicality, just in case... She, he needs a sub. But also, there was a birth announcement of some kid by some other kids. Oh, we haven't even gotten there yet, John. We're still in the first quarter. I still don't care. Isabel's surgery, he keeps calling it they were on vacation. And then he's, but then he'll turn around and be like, oh, I wish I could have been there. If it had been another time, I would have. But then Robin says, oh, Cody couldn't be away for more than two weeks. So I'm kind of like, so he would have flown out for two days. Anyway. Then he's like, well, why doesn't she want to protect Truly? Truly has had kidney failure. And it's like, no one said that these people... Like, this wait, is, who, wait, wait. Who was watching her when she had kidney failure? Yeah, and didn't give her anything to drink for no, three no, no. or four days? She didn't pee for like three days and didn't notice. Because the other kids were watching him. And then he's like, all you have to do is just manage. And she's like, you just mean your misbehavior needs to be managed, you know? And this is the whole thing is he just keeps... They just, they keep having... He keeps saying like, you just need to be... You need to follow the rules, but no one said what these rules are. And then Janelle, like, Janelle will constantly say... And then he's been saying... Oh, I'm all over the place. The first episode of the season, he's like, I'm going from house to house and no one else is, which we thought was insane. I think he said that last season, too. Well, now he's saying he hasn't seen anyone for seven months, but then we saw him film at Janelle's house working out. So this is where I've been saying none of this makes sense, and a lot of people kind of agreed, which is like, he just hasn't seen the other wives. Like, he'll go over and see him outside, and that's it. Anyway, Janelle's like, we wear masks, we socially distance, we use sanitizer. I don't get the deal is. And her kids, her kids have jobs. And, like, I thought we were all, like, yay, yay, essential workers. You mean people workers. need money? Well, and it's like, not, every, not everybody can work from home. 
which apparently Co Cody claims he does, but... And then Robin goes... This idea goes, of work is not giving truly anything to drink for four days. Well, Robin goes, we're just doing what everyone does. Record scratch. Anyway, then we get the nanny. I was so excited. I was so excited to hear all the details, and then they're like, oh, she comes. And they're like, oh, she follows all these rules. But Christy made the point, does, does her husband... And then Janelle made the best point, I thought, of the whole episode, which is she said, I think even if we did follow the rules, they wouldn't trust us. I don't know what the point is of following the rules, because even if we did, it wouldn't be enough. And I thought that's kind of... Sums it up. You're sums up the whole thing. Loved. So anyway, she says flat out, either we do Thanksgiving or I'm leaving. And he's like, fine, fine, I'll figure it out. And then he says, he goes, I'm done. He's going to leave, and he says, well, hopefully I'll have backup tomorrow. So you're telling me that that this whole like oh everyone says it's Robin's rules, but time and time again he lets little stuff slip out that indicates that she is in charge. Like earlier in the season when he went to her and said if we have if we have this outdoor thing and we keep everybody separated, can Ari and Samuel come? And she or uh, sorry not Samuel Ari and Saul come and she goes well I don't really sure if they're supposedly his rules. Um, or his kids. His, then, and then the other thing is, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit, which is, first of all, I get why Robin's the first wife, because she's always like, Cody would never let anyone boss him around. He would never have a wife tell him what to do. Immediately followed by, yeah, he told me, Mary, that you could come over, but I said no, it wasn't fair to the rest of the family to change the rules. That doesn't sound like, you know what I mean? Like, that just sounds like master level, like... Oh, no, of course not, honey. You're right. Well, what about this? Oh, well, I just don't understand why the other wives don't agree to these very sane rules. I mean, everyone I know is doing it. Anyway, I, I'm really done with her this episode. Um, I'm done with her, but just to be clear, done with him too, have been. I don't think I've ever, I don't know if I've ever said positive thing about him. Other than in the instance of, like, I hate to say it, but in this really one case... I really think he likes himself a lot. He does. Um, and then, like, the point, like, when the wives are saying, I don't think he wants to see everyone together. I agree. He really doesn't. Here's your sign. So then there's this little interlude of Tony and McKelty came out so that they can do the Boring. gender reveal. And then we get to hear Cody's opinion on home births. And then we get to hear all of the things. Robins, because that's the one that matters. Yeah. And, and and then he, when he goes this, now he's wearing a mask. I'm just wearing a mask so everybody knows the rules. Okay, well, we haven't seen you in a mask the whole rest of the season. So it it's almost worse than wearing to not wear the mask than to wear it now under this circumstances when every two seconds we see him. Like, like uh, anyway, he's, all, he's, he's enforcing the rules when it's convenient, but I don't for a second see him worried about enforcing the rules on himself. It's almost like he, you know, got COVID or something. Anyway, a lot of people who were careful got COVID, but... I'm not saying that, but... Just just for all of his high and mightiness. Okay. Anyway, it's a girl. Then we have the family get together, and Mary's... So, what? this is the context. This is what I think happened. People were kind of mean about Mary making side remarks. I don't think she was. Cody said, these are the rules that we follow it. These are the rules that I made up, and they all know that Robin has them. So he hands Robin a copy, and Mary goes, a, a copy of the rules that, a copy of your rules, of the rules that you follow at your house. And Robin like flips out. Oh, I got all my, I got all my stuff up here. Oh well, I don't think it makes, I guess anything private. Anyway, and then he gets, you know, don't say that. You guys all blame me, and then. Cody yells at her, and then Mary goes, I'm really sorry. I just thought, like, don't make this about you. Just so you know, apologies are supposed to be about you. When you apologize to someone else, you're supposed to say, my behavior was wrong. That's not making it about you. That's apologizing. It's taking the light off of Cody. Gosh. I know. So anyway, anyway, she freaks out about how everyone's blaming me for these rules. Because you're stupid. All that, cool. including the kid having called and saying, hey, could you lighten up the rules? And she's like, I don't know why everyone's blaming me. And I'll just say that the most per interesting person to watch this whole time was Janelle. Because Janelle's looking at these rules. Janelle's looking at this whole thing. She, I feel like she has it all figured out. I, I mean, I think Christine does too. 
but Christine is saying it already, so I don't feel like it's as necessary to point out. Although it sure does look like Janelle has a lot to say next episode. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway... That's what but I will just say... Commercials are supposed to make it look like. I don't... You know. And then they'll give us a big nothing burger. All right. Anyway, but we all see how Cody acts when Robin's not around. So they do all these things. I'm not even going to really get into the rules. They, they say, like, wipe stuff down with alcohol. Do they mean Clorox wipes? Because I don't... The only alcohol wipes I know Jack are the Daniels. little ones. Anyway. But Janelle brings up a great point, which is, where have these rules been? It's been seven months, and whenever I ask him for clarification, he has nothing. And now, all of a sudden, there's a list of rules. he doesn't want to see you or your kids. And, um, and then he calls Janelle lazy. He says, oh, are you too lazy to do some chores? <laughs> How to have a good relationship. And then he one. yells about how he doesn't have a he head wife. And then this whole thing about how we're supposed to sympathize with poor Cody and Robin and how everyone's so cruel and has a lack of loyalty. And then Janelle says a line about how I don't know if there's any point in following these rules, so I think even if we did, he, he still wouldn't believe us. And then Janelle points out, like, I'm following all the government stuff. I'm following all the CDC, the state, all of that. And yeah, anyway, so then they admit that he's been at Robin's basically full time. Um, which, I mean, I feel like the viewers have been saying that for years. And then it's also like, why does she need a, you know, she probably needs a nanny, as they call it, to clean that big old huge house she has. She's got five kids, three of which I believe are adults, maybe two are adults and one's like right on the cusp. And then she's got two young ones. Um, but I was going to cut her some slack because like my mother-in-law lives with us. We could call her a nanny. She is not a nanny. Uh, she lives with us. And I'm like, maybe it's one of those kind of situations where she lives with us because it is better for us and for her. She has some health problems. Very rarely she needs help in the middle of the night. But now instead of John getting in the car and racing over, I, I, clearly that's not their situation. But maybe, but that's, clearly it's not. that She comes and goes. She's got a husband, I assume, who works a job. Maybe not, unless Cody is now supporting a fifth family. He's not, he's not supporting. He's, he's not, not supporting, supporting any of them. them. Anyway, um, but he's with, not with Rob. He's not following the rules. Uh, maybe I should be more... What does that say? I can't read your writing. Oh! He says, maybe I should have been more romantic with, with uh, Janelle, which I think is his way of saying, maybe I should occasionally have sex with her because he's like, she doesn't want to pick me over her adult kids. And it's like, I don't know the full intricacies. A lot of people were helpful in the comments and were like, she's made comments before about them just being more buddy-buddy. And it's like, yeah. You mean like maybe she would be a wife if you treated, if you acted like a husband? Shocker. <laughs> Shock upon shocker. Um, and then after they kind of leave, so basically Janelle says, we're not going to do this for Thanksgiving, maybe Christmas. And Christine says... You know, I almost rather kind of go over to Utah and get together with the whole rest of my family, who I think that the implication is, and she said earlier, which is like, who love me, who want to spend time with me, who enjoy spending time with us, don't come over begrudgingly looking at their phone and complaining the whole time. Um, anyway, and so he's like, oh, so we're not going to have Thanksgiving. Mary says nothing that whole time. She's just a dog who's been hit by a stick. And then in her interview, she's just like, I don't know why, Robin. I'm Robin's biggest defender. And I'm like, oh, jeez. You know, my sympathy for Mary definitely rolled back there a little bit. So after they leave, Robin's like, Mary, you didn't say anything. And she's like, there's just not much for me to say. I've been following these rules for seven months. And then, oh, they, were, they were still in front of Janelle and Christine when she said it. She's like, I've been following the rules for seven months. And, you know, I just... and. Christine and Janelle are kind of like, well, why aren't you going over? Because nobody wants to see you. That's why. Well, then then there was that whole, like, well, I am just keep waiting to be invited over, to be allowed over. And so after they all leave, then Robin's like the whole, like, I love you, Mary. You're so good to me. And I don't know why everyone is so mean. And everybody knows that Cody doesn't do anything because a wife tells him to. And just goes on and on. And I was like, oh my gosh, no wonder she's the number one wife if this is how she talks to Cody all the time. I mean, just really that, <sighs> that ego. But anyway, then after she goes, no one, she even, then she says, Cody told me that you could come over. And I just told him it, we couldn't. 
because it would mess with the family the rules. rules. And it's like, okay, so apparently wives do tell Cody what to do. Anyway, and um, and he's so strong. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of funny. And that's kind of how the episode ended. It sure looks like uh, Janelle tells him to off next episode. We'll see. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to say. That's it. That's that's my, all my thoughts. So hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you think. And I mean, I guess I'll, I'll ask a question, which is, do you think that Janelle's going to be the next to leave? She, it's almost like she doesn't care enough to leave because she's so little involved. I think she'll just, sounds like she'll just stay in Flagstaff, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, bye.